Hello and welcome. Hello to our speaker, Nikki. And uh, it's kind of early in the morning in many parts of the world. So uh, I hope that if you can't make it, you're watching the recording. So hello, everyone. This is the third day and final day sadly, of the uh, Spring Blanc Festival. It's been really exciting and we have a long day ahead of us, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, this is Nelly Deutsch and uh, we're going to have a presentation from Greece. So I hope you're ready to come to Greece. If you've never been there, there's Greece. <laughs> our speaker is sitting um, in her home in Greece and uh, Nikki is our speaker. There she is. And I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your last name, but I'm sure you could say it a lot better. Uh, Nikki and I have known each other for, uh, I don't know, for a number of years, I guess for sure since 2009, um, I believe, but maybe before that. Um, and I don't want to go into uh, too much, but um, I've been following Nikki and uh, especially her new adventures lately. And I hope that we'll get a glimpse of that when she speaks uh, about her blogging experience. So Nikki, Dr. Nikki, actually, um, if you could uh, tell us more, that would be great as we go. So thank you everyone for joining and others will be coming. So if you could add in the chat box uh, as you come, where you're from and anything else you'd like to add, use the chat box to reflect and think as you listen. I think it's a good way, but if you don't like it, then you don't have to. All right, so Nikki, thank you for volunteering to join us once again. And uh, I don't think I need to be thanked. It's you that are making this so wonderful. So thank you. But nothing happens without... Uh, can you hear me? We hear you audio is fantastic your video is super fantastic very clear so yes i don't think you have to keep it yeah i don't think you have to keep it too close to your mouth i think it's fine as it is because the audio is really great yes yeah yeah that's because we have the headset um, exactly. we don't have the microphone thing, but with the headset it's much better so everybody can hear me clearly yes. very very so go ahead, Nikki. Thank you. you can start. So welcome, everybody. First, I would like to thank uh, Nelly, Shelley, and Sylvia from who, who, who is actually in Greece, I think, for inviting me and taking Nelly. Yes, I've been on you for years now and it's the first time we've actually uh, have this uh, sort of uh, participation on an online conference then right? with some chapters and some writing some papers and also in experience <laughs> so i'm grateful and uh, thank you for everybody who is here at the moment uh, from IGD now in Saudi Arabia and, uh, so my presentation uh, is about blogging, but uh, also is about the, for the future of uh, blogging. Uh, I have started blogging some years ago, uh, more than 10 years ago. So I think that uh, we leave traces on the internet. Uh, we do have uh, snapshots of ourselves uh, on the internet, and this is some kind of... Um, a path we can follow back, reminiscing the past and while creating the present future by posting. And uh, we can actually see how this works behind, behind our back and then um, we can actually see how we can change the future or predict the future and change it. So the uh, title of the presentation is about the rise of the semantic web. And it is started with the blogs. We'll see. <laughs> so uh, in a way, you can say that uh, the semantic web starts with the blogs. Because 
when we started blogging, we started participating in a wider community and started interacting and collaborating. The internet was about the internet of things or the people or the internet of places. And how to get semantic is how to interconnect all this contribution. The internet is us. We have created this amazing space. So how can we link everything together, or our differ different aspects of ourselves and our uh, places left somewhere uh, in things or internet or groups or places? So we do search for an intuitive internet that knows exactly what I said and I meant. So what I mean by the rise of the semantic web that has started with the blog. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but nothing happens without... Can you hear me? And the semantic web evolution was built upon web one and web two. Actually, it's, perhaps we can say that it's linked to web three. Can you hear me? It's linked to the user-generated context and uh, blogging and web two. Oh, okay. it's actually about uh, creating. Yeah, that's because I have the headset. Um, I can have the uh, iPod thing, but with the headset, it's much better. So everybody can hear me clearly. Yes. So then we can start. Use this uh, background, this content we like, and uh, these data. So and welcome everybody. First, I would like to thank uh, Nelly, Shelley, and Sylvia from who, who, who is actually in Greece, Sylvia, I think, for inviting me. And thank you, Nelly. Yes, I've been knowing you for some years now, and it's the first time. We actually uh, have this uh, sort of uh, participation on an online conference. Then it was some chapters or some writing, some kind of um, offering experience. Very great. Yes, well, so I'm grateful and uh, thank you for everybody who is uh, here at the moment uh, from Argentina or Saudi Arabia and everyone. So my presentation uh, is about blogging. But uh, also is about the, for the future of uh, blogging. Uh, I have started blogging some years ago, uh, more than ten years or something. So I think that uh, we leave traces on the internet. Uh, we do have uh, snapshots of ourselves uh, on the internet, and this is some kind of. Um, a path we can follow back, reminiscing the past and while creating the present future by posting. And uh, we can actually see how this works behind, behind our backs and then um, we, we can actually see how we can change the future, or predict the future and change it. So the uh, title of the pre presentation is about the rise of the semantic web. And did it start with the blogs? We'll see. So uh, in a way, you can say that uh, the semantic web started with the blogs. Because when we start blogging, we started participating in a wider community and started interacting and collaborating. The internet was about the internet of things or the people or the internet of places and how to get semantic.